Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and I hope you are having a great day today. Uh, today continues our unboxing series where we're going to be unboxing a lot of planes uh, for our airport update that's coming out mid to early July. Um, today we have two fantastic models and if you didn't see in the thumbnail, one could possibly be my new favorite model plane in my collection. So this is very exciting, let's get into it, but before we do that, please hit that subscribe button, like button, and notification bell. Thank you guys so, so much for 50 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, please comment below. Uh, I'm trying to just plan ahead right now. So Orange County, which is uh, the, uh, the county right outside of LA, yeah, Orange County John Wayne Airport International Airport is going to be my first airport update. But I want to, I want to know what you guys think of my second airport update. What, 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 would, what would you guys like to see? Do you have any recommendations or a three that I thought of that I would really like to do is either uh, Tampa Bay International, uh, Palm Beach International Airport, or uh, South Florida International Airport, which is the airport uh, by uh, for Fort Myers and Naples uh, in Florida. Please comment below what, what airport you guys would like to see me do. Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards Tampa. It's just a super cool airport, and no other aviation YouTubers really do it that much. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, we're gonna start first with our uh, NG model Southwest 737-800. Um, I, as you might, as you might know, uh, Orange County uses a lot of Southwest planes, uh, so I needed quite a few. So let's just take a look at it. First, we have the box here. We have um, a beautiful NG Models box. Um, I just love their designs and they do a really great job on it. Uh, we have the 737 along with the uh, Southwest uh, aircraft depiction. And we have our registration down here along with our Boeing uh, licensing and, and uh, NG Models and Southwest. On the bottom of the box, we have a depiction of the aircraft. And on the side of the box, we have the Southwest logo. And on the back here, we have almost the same thing as the front of the box, just a couple more things. Um, I got this from Collectible Jets for $43.59. Uh, if you guys can find one and you guys like the model, I would highly recommend getting it because right now it's you can't find them anymore and they're super hard to get because there's a really uh, popular model. Okay, look inside the box there. Um, and just a really nice model to get, and I would highly recommend it. Oh, wow, looking really good in that sunlight. Sorry, it's a bit kind of there's not too great of a too much sunlight today, but we'll do the best we can. I have my tripod kind of positioned in an interesting angle, but to get you guys the best picture. I'm sorry if you guys see a shadow there. Anyways, absolutely beautiful plane. Try to get it as fast as you can because this is already sold out on uh, where, where I get all my most of my planes, collectible jets. Uh, you, if you, if I would recommend trying um, Easy Toys. Still had them last time I checked, which was a little while ago, uh, or I don't know Amazon or something, um, or eBay would honestly be the best place. But absolutely fantastic model. We'll do a little in-depth review here. Let me see if I can put that a bit closer. Here we go. All right, we're just gonna go back to front like usual really quickly here. Uh, we Starting out, we have our windshield with windshield wipers and our, as you guys can see down here, the registration that I'll talk about later uh, on the, um, kind of on the flap, I'd say flaps to the, uh, or the doors to the no, front nose gear. We have our, this, uh, this by the way, is the Heart One Library, uh, otherwise kind of known as Southwest's new library. Uh, you can see the heart right there on the boarding door and you have your forward boarding door. Uh, big Southwest logo across the body. And then we have our engines with the Southwest.com and our split scimitars. Uh, one thing that I'll touch on really quickly is there's really no blue. I mean, there may be a little bit of blue, like right at the bottom there, if you guys can see. But when we're looking at the box, you can see a bit more of kind of blue right there. And I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but that's something that they could probably correct. Uh, I'm not gonna make too big of a deal about it, but if anything, that's probably one of the bigger things. And then on this, the other problem uh, is 
this nose cone is a tiny bit too big. I mean, it is what it is. It's still a fantastic model. And uh, NG Models does an absolutely amazing job on it. But moving to the back here, uh, like I said, we have the southwest.com on the engines. We have our uh, forward Wi-Fi antenna, our Wi-Fi box slash TV box, and our um, uh, back Wi-Fi antenna. Our registration on today's plane is N8686. A. Uh, obviously, we have the American flag here. This is an American plane. Uh, Southwest is obviously an American airline. A beautiful tail, nice stripes. I don't know someone who doesn't love the Southwest. Um, someone who doesn't love like that beautiful Southwest tail. Uh, on the back here, we have the. You can see the blue is a bit more visible on the back of the uh, back of the scimitar here. Uh, looking good. And then just kind of the other side of the plane. Rotate it right here. Looks really nice. Uh, really great model, just all around. I would definitely recommend picking one up, but you're going to have to be pretty quick to do so if you want to. Um, yeah, Southwest uses a lot of 737s, if you don't know. Uh, Southwest only operates 737s which uh, makes their costs go down because they only need pilots to fly 737s and they only need maintenance people uh, that and all the maintenance people can work on like if you have one maintenance person they can work on all aircraft so it's just one great way to cut costs which is great uh, great fantastic plan let me just put it to the side here and we are going to look at my new favorite plane in my collection. All right, guys, this, you haven't seen it yet, but this is an absolutely beautiful model. I mean, just fantastic Gemini jets, even though they've had a bit of criticism lately, have, has done an amazing job with this. I mean, I, I don't know if I could ask for a better model from them. But anyways, we have our United logo on the front along with our Gemini jets logo up there. And we have, oops, there we go. A depiction of the aircraft. Uh, this is the United Airbus A319 in the new livery. Uh, I love United's new livery. I think it looks really good. Yeah. So that's the front. On the bottom of the box, we have the Gemini Jets logo. And on the side, we have a depiction of the aircraft. On the back of the box, we have classic Gemini Jets um, with all their... Uh, you know, the website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, check their website because their new releases just dropped and they look absolutely amazing. I got the uh, Alaska ERJ-175 and the Honoring Those Who Serve Library, which I'm very excited about. And then on their Instagram, I saw that they have uh, previews for two new models coming out. They have, basically, it's equivalent to the British, uh, a British Air Force One. It is uh, the, it's an A330. And then they have uh, the Qantas 747 that people have wanted for a long, 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 long time. Uh, we're just gonna do these quick facts really quickly here. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can pause the video right now if you would like to read it. Um, one thing is, I did not know this before, but one of my friends told me, uh, super interesting that uh, United used to be a part of Boeing uh, and until the um, US government made them split because it was such a big company, which I thought is something that's really cool. Uh, our library is the new United library. Uh, this is an A319-132. Uh, uh, we have two IAE, IAE engines and its first flight was the 29th of March, 2004. So this is a really old plane that was obviously repainted into the new library. And its delivery date was uh, 20th of June, 2009. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Okay, so that, that, that's a lot different. I wonder if this aircraft might have uh, been with a different airline and then um, everybody sorry about that. Uh, my dog started barking. Uh, but now we're back at, like I was saying, its first flight is uh, a long time from the delivery date. I wonder if it served with a different airline for a little while. I'm not really sure why. I could be wrong. Anyways, its max takeoff weight is uh, 
166,000 pounds and is cruising speed uh, 515 miles per hour with a range of 4,318 miles. And it seats comfortably uh, 124 passengers. There's a little uh, kind of diagram or depiction of the height, wingspan, and length right there. Uh, but now let's unbox this beautiful aircraft. I got this on uh, collectible jets and it's still there, but <laughs> don't quote me on this. It's somewhere around, I want to say uh, $35. Not exactly. It's, cl it's really close to that though. I can promise you that. Uh, let's see if we can get some good lighting on this here. Wow. I mean, guys, this just looks absolutely fantastic. A really great model. I mean, really great job Jim and I just did. I mean, absolutely amazing. If you don't know, they actually also made this plane in the 1 to 200 scale, as you guys probably know. Uh, this plane is in the 1 to 400 scale, because that's kind of what I collect. Um, we can go kind of in detail here. Let's pull this forward a bit. All right. Um... So starting off with the windows here at the front, they look really good. This plane looks absolutely amazing, like I've said many times, and I'm still gonna keep saying this, and I'm surprised Gemini Jets did this good of a job, but really great job. Wow, Gemini Jets. Uh, the windshields look really great on this plane. Just everything, the nose cone is accurate. Good length, not too long, not too short. Uh, you have your Wi-Fi antenna right above that boarding door, and off to the left side of the boarding door, you have the SAR Alliance logo. On the bottom there, you have your landing gear with those landing gear flaps with the registration, and you have your, um, right on the, kind of the body of the aircraft, you have uh, the big United logo uh, that comes with their new library. Uh, you, you have those nice IAE engines, right size, really nice job. And then out here you have your fenced winglets. Oh, it's looking absolutely amazing. Um, right above the registration, you have your um, your TV box and your two Wi-Fi antennas in the back. And you have your registration today on this aircraft is uh, N876UA with the American flag at the end. And then you have your back boarding door along with that beautiful United tail. And something I want you to notice, for you guys can see it, uh, it, it, Gemini Jets does a great job of fading out that tail at the end there. It just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, just the detail in that, you can probably see that. It kind of fades out right there. Looking really great though. I'll give you a quick back view of the aircraft really quickly. And then we'll flip it around. Like usual, all the same stuff on the other side. Looking really good. Just a sharp model. Just really slick. I'm mean, very excited, as you guys can tell, to have this in my collection. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend uh, anyone that doesn't have it or needs it to get it. Uh, I think it'll be selling out soon because just how, how, how much of an amazing model it is. But uh, last time I checked, it still was not sold out, unlike the Southwest 737. Um, I'll give you guys a quick bottom view of the aircraft here. Oops, let's zoom out. There we go. Uh, everything normal, nothing special on the bottom. You have your uh, double landing gear configuration with the double tires and your single, single landing gear in front. Oh, I, I forgot on the Southwest plane, we'll, we'll do it right now. I forgot the bottom view. Uh, you have your heart, uh, your heart logo down there, which is super accurate. A nice job, energy models. And then you have your uh, your landing gear, kind of your storage, landing gear storage area, which they do a great job of. And then you have just the rest of your plane and your library. Uh, we'll put that back now and talk a little bit about the United A319s. So United uses a lot of A319s. Um, Obviously, one flies to Orange County, which is why I got this model, which is one of the reasons. Also, it's just super, like, really nice and super fantastic. Um, well, 
Gemini Jets, you guys did a great job. I'm not, one thing I'm not sure about here, let's see if I can get it close to the camera. I'm not sure what that says. Wait, let's get it to focus. Ooh, oh yeah, if you guys know what that says, make sure you hit me up in the comments. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read it right now, but I, I cannot read that, that is super tiny. But, I mean, just all the perfect fine details. I mean, I could go on and on about all the things that Gemini Jets did a great job of here. I mean, I'll just name a couple. I mean, you got perfect nose cone. Uh, the, the engines look really good. Your wings are well attached. I don't know if you can tell. Um, great back here, you got that great fade away in that winglet. Uh, Gemini Jets does a really great job on the new United Library. And this is an absolutely fantastic plane and a great way to end our video with uh, such a great plane here. Uh, I'll leave you with this absolutely beautiful view of uh, two new models that look, both look fantastic. But I gotta tell you guys, that United A319, it's the new favorite in my collection. So thank you guys for so much for watching till the end. Please hit that subscribe button, like button, and notification bell, and comment down below uh, if what airport you guys want me to do. I'll go over the, my top three really quickly. Uh, either Tampa Bay, which I'm leaning towards right now, uh, Tampa Bay International, or Palm Beach International, or South Florida International. Uh, please comment, that would help me out a great amount. I really just want to know what you guys want to see on the channel. Um, Make sure you stay tuned for this photo gallery as it's going to be amazing. And we are gonna have a couple more of these unboxing videos coming out soon, but then I'll put something different in, like maybe a, a, a plane spotting video, but it's gonna be in the pictures again. And our, I'm not sure yet, maybe a aviation history or aviation update to come soon. Uh, anyways, I don't know if you guys heard, but in the last video I told you guys that I had, I was ordering the terminal this week which I still am, I'm working on it. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to post as much, but I've been uh, trying to work to get enough money to get the terminal. Um, I hope you guys understand. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys stay tuned for this photo gallery. But I will leave you with the view of this absolutely fantastic aircraft that I'm super excited about in this absolutely also beautiful 737-800 with those beautiful split scimitars there. Thank you guys.